Okay, next question comes from uh, Kian. Uh, C-I-A-N. Kian. Kian, I'm sorry. I have been doing your easy strength for fat loss routine for about two months now, and I re really wish I'd have known about it 10 years ago. Kian, I, you know, I'm with you. I, I invented the thing, and I wish I'd invented it earlier. So uh, <laughs> thank you, my friend. Um, I've been following it closely, and it's producing results. However, I have a problem. So far in the program, I have been working from home and could easily plan my day around working out the 15-hour fast mark around 11 a.m. for me. Oh, okay, I know where this is heading. Next month, I return to office life, and it's not just feasible on weekdays for me to duck out of the office for an hour at 11 while still needing to eat lunch after that. I watch your podcast a lot, and I know you hate these questions that seek to modify your program. Don't worry about it. However, I would like your advice on a second best variation. I can do the workout cardio either in the morning before work, probably around 10 hours fasted, or in the evenings after work, after finish eating for the day. Which one would be best suboptimal? Sub uh, okay, I think, okay, I'm going to give you, I, I think you should try three things. First, try the idea of the traditional morning workout. Uh, Bill Pearl did that. Many of the bodybuilding greats did that. Steve Mitchell did it, where you get up early in the morning, you get your workout in, and then you eat, and then you have your life. Um, for body composition, I've heard nothing but good things. It's interesting because I was at a Perform Better, and one of the famous speakers ripped on fasted cardio, and I thought, I mean, that's fine. I get your point. But when the greatest bodybuilders in history believe in something, you got to at least, you got to at least listen to them, you know. If you have the greatest Olympic lifter in world history say, don't ever do anything less than 10 reps in the squat, and you say, what does this guy know? You know, that's just, that uh, uh, intellectual arrogance is going to get you in the wrong spot. So option number one, uh, Ken, is, is, is good. Option two, uh, where you have a normal day uh, workout uh, and then go to bed, I know people who've done it. I tell you, man, any it just it just swallows any social, family, normal life you have. I want to come up with one more option for you. Um, uh, extend your fast to your lunch break. So skip breakfast. Uh, I mean, if you have time in the morning, I prefer you slept. Uh, and if you just are going to work an hour early, I mean, uh, I just, anybody who start anybody who works a nine to five job in 2021, any corporation that insists on nine to five, I just think is, is a freaking, um, uh, is a relic. I mean, you know, you're, you're an archeological dig. You're not a corporation, but it'd be, I'd love it if you could uh, get yourself into a schedule like like six to two or five to whatever whatever the number works out. Push that fast as long as you can. When you get off work, then get your workout. So go to work, eat your lunch, fast. You know it's gonna be what three, four, five hours after lunch, whatever it is. When you get off, when you get off work. You do your you do whatever you do your workout you do your forty five minute walk and then you eat it'll give you a normal life now it is going to be a two meal a day situation um, if you decide to snack at night make sure uh, which you know I mean since we're extending the fast on the back end uh, you probably have until what about eight o'clock nine o'clock. Uh, try to practice snack. If you have snacks, make sure you, you every snack has a kimchi or a sauerkraut or a fermented food in it. And yes, I know wine and beer are fermented foods. Uh, Dan, I'm <laughs> Dan, I'm drinking all these fermented beverages and I keep putting weight on. Well, wow, okay, uh, this is good. Um, uh, that would be the option I would like you to think about if you don't mind. So fast until lunch. Uh, I mean, I hate to do this. I hate to do what, okay. I, I don't like what I'm about to say, but if, if you did get in your walk or your weight workout in the morning before work 
and then fast until noon. So you've done something, especially if you have a home gym. You've done something. Boy, that little walk I used to do on the Velocity Diet first thing in the morning, that 15, half an hour walk, oh, that thing was a game changer for body composition. So you would be sliding into two workouts a day. Again, not perfect. I think you should lift and walk. I think that's what you want to do. But I think some of these other options might be okay too. Don't make it too complicated. Here, I, here's what I want you to do. <laughs> you wake up, drink way too much coffee. You go to work, you fast, you fast, you fast. When you eat lunch, it is a protein, vegetable, fermented vegetable, water, buffet it's you're just going to shove a lot of stuff down uh you're going to then go back to work uh, if you want to do a little walk after that a little just a you know just a digestion walk fine and then when you get done with work work lift walk dinner be a normal person be the best be the best person you can be at work be the best person you can be at home uh, be present in where you're supposed to be and uh that hour a day-ish that you take in training should work. All right, I hope that helps. Thank you.